born in Nigeria and now an American citizen, Anya has established an international reputation through his excellent work in criminal law. My practice has taken me to different parts of the world. I have practiced law on different sides of a case. I have been a prosecutor before. I have done defense work. And now, in the context of Kenya, I am doing victims' representation. I am not a staff member of the ICC. I am a private lawyer um, who was uh, recruited, if you will, by the court to undertake this particular representation. The lawyer's deep empathy for the victims is easily noticeable in the way he fronts for his clients' concerns. I highlight to the court um, the views and concerns of the victims and how their personal interests are affected in these proceedings. Um, that entails um, speaking to the victims, um, obtaining information directly from them that they wish the court to be aware of. In addition, of course, we file pleadings on behalf of the victims. The victim's position in these cases uh, is oftentimes independent of, of course, the defense and the prosecution. We don't necessarily see eye to eye with either side. We have our own views on matters. And so my job is to convey those views to the court. When emotions accompany a legal process, Anya's role becomes even more difficult. I also perform what I might refer to as a um, psychological function, which is to meet with them and reassure them that they will not be neglected as far as the case is concerned. To also keep them aware of what is happening in The Hague. Mind you, the victims are thousands of miles from The Hague. Kenyan victims lost property, some were raped, a fraction have missing body parts, while others have permanent marks that will forever ensure memories of the 2008 post-election violence stick in their mind as long as they live. The lawyer who has served also as appeals and trial counsel in high-profile cases in Arusha, Atlanta, Chicago and at The Hague has to make victims to understand that legal processes take a long time. Anybody who has done war crimes cases knows that these cases from when they commence until the conclusion of a trial take quite some time, easily a number of years. And so I have tried to be as honest with each victim or group of victims that I meet without dampening their spirits to the degree where they eschew or distance themselves from the process. And the honesty requires that one, they realize how long it is. Two, they realize that it is a bifurcated process, meaning that you have the trial first, and only if someone is convicted do you get to the second phase of the process, which involves reparations. Anya also represented former Liberian President Charles Taylor before a special court for Sierra Leone at The Hague. He is also a counsel at the ICC. Within his 16 years of experience in criminal law, he also argued in a genocide case against his former Rwandese Prime Minister, Jean Kambanda. Even as he looks forward to hoping that his clients will be compensated, Anya concludes with a special message to Kenyans. Kenyans have to reconcile differences, and I believe they can. And hopefully this case can serve as a vehicle to a national dialogue about reconciliation, setting aside of differences, especially from the past, and moving forward in a unified way uh, for the improvement of all Kenyans.